Hi everyone, so I'm trying to film a few videos for you. I apologise for the absence of videos in the last few weeks. It's been um, theatre festival time. We're in our last week of things now. As you can see, I'm wearing a Time I Got To The Musical t-shirt. And yeah, we've got our last three shows coming up. It's been quite exciting and hectic and really, really stressful and not much sleep and things, but we've been getting a great reception. And the other shows in the festival have been very well received as well, so it's been quite successful and that's really nice. Um, in terms of Tamagotchi itself, there we, I will provide the links to purchase the t-shirt should you like one in the doobly-doo in my pants. Um, physical copies of CDs are getting uh, organised this week and I should say the CDs are the original cast recording of the musical and um, those are getting sent out every which way. Um, I mean, if you want a physical copy of the CD, then I'm sure I could organise that for you. Especially if um, you're in Australia, that's a much easier thing to do. Um, and I'll provide the email with which to uh, send details to and whatnot. That will also be in the doobly-doo in my pants. In terms of a digital download, I'm honestly not sure where we're standing on that at the moment. But I'll keep you up to date as soon as I know everything. It's all a mishmash and there's lots of confusion at present, but I'm trying to sort stuff out. Also, the Saturday and Sunday shows this coming weekend will hopefully be filmed and that will, with luck, eventually result in the show being uploaded to YouTube in video format, so we'll see how that goes. I really want to do that because obviously it's been something we've been saying from the beginning and people want to see it. So, yeah, I really hope that can happen. Anywho, back to um, channel stuff. Uh, I want to say a really sincere and warm and hearty um, hello and welcome and thank you to all my new subscribers. I now have over 600 subscribers which is ridiculous and I know that this is all a direct result of the awesome brilliance and amazing leadershipness that is Priscilla from The Readables. Um, she gave me a shout out in one of her recent videos which was so very kind of her and Priscilla you know I love you very much and I think you're insanely fantastic. So this is a cyber hug from me. I hope you can feel that. <laughs> and thank you so much. And the power you wield, your word, is law it seems. So everyone listens to you. That's amazing. And yeah, thank you very much to all my new subscribers. And I will try to provide interesting, informative videos for you. I should um, give a disclaimer. My videos aren't always book related. As you can see, my channel is entitled Renee's Channel of Stuff, so it doesn't necessarily pertain to book reviews or book hauls, but I do try and do plenty of those. So I apologise in advance for non-book related videos, and I don't mean to annoy anybody by those. Um, I will try and give you some book stuff now. So here's a haul for you. This is just some books from the last week or so. I got sent to me in Blaze by Jessica Shervington, and it is the third book in the Violet Eden chapters. Their books about angels, and um, this was sent to me by Hatchet Australia. And the covers are very nice, very nice. They've got a nice colour scheme thing going on, and they're a little bit shiny, which is cool. They're rather large paperbacks as well, which is, you know, pretty interesting. Quite tall. Um, I did start the first book, which is Embrace, but I didn't get very far into it. Um, but I've got to go back and reread it again and just give this series a chance because I think I got turned off because of course there's a love triangle and whatnot and that was just annoying me and I was like no more no more but um yeah I've been sent the trilogy so I should probably read them. Okay um then I got sent Small Blue Thing by SC Ransom and I requested this one and it was sent to me from who sent it please I'll tell you in a moment hmm Oh gosh darn, I can't even tell you who sent it. Hold on, yes I can. Alan and Unwin. Alan and Unwin sent it to me. And the cover is very pretty, isn't it? It's shiny. And it's about a girl um, called Alex who finds this bracelet buried in the Thames. And she is discovering that she can communicate with the dead. Those who have drowned in the, in the river. And she's torn between uh, two guys who are, t two, what, not two guys rather, a guy and a girl, both of whom are telling her different things about what this bracelet could mean. And yeah, I just I was mainly drawn in by the cover. The fact that it is so gosh darn pretty and there's an opal, but I love opals, so yeah, there we go. This 
this was a strange, random, crazy happenstance send, but I was sent by Simon & Schuster, Devoted, by Hilary Duff, which is the sequel to her first novel, Elixir. And I remember at the time laughing that Hilary Duff had a book that she wrote, although she, it was co-written with somebody else. Um, and the fact that, of course, it's a paranormal romance and things, and I've heard very mixed slash negative reviews about it, but, I mean, they sent me this, and so I may as well try and see if I can get my hands on the first one so I can read them, but, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I know that it's about a girl who's a photographer, and she's trying to find out things about her father, and there's this mysterious guy, of course, who's pop who pops up. Apparently there is a love triangle, because that's the rule, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I think. I don't mean I don't want to be harsh to Hillary Duff. I don't really have anything against her, so. Yeah. And then finally, I was sent *The Shadow Girl* by John Larkin, and this looks like it'd be quite an intense read. It's about a homeless girl who still manages to attend school, but she keeps everything about her a mystery, and um, doesn't alert anybody to family or friends that she knows. She sleeps. Um, outside in rail yard sand dunes and abandoned houses and it was actually based on um, a young lady that the author himself met who was attending school but at the same time was homeless and yeah he actually dedicates the book to her in the, in the inscription here so yeah interesting and apparently it's a white knuckled thriller with a sassy main character and a terrifying villain so yeah the cover's quite evocative too um, yeah, so that is my haul there. I will, I'm going to try and do some tags, because I've been tagged in some stuff, and there's some good tags going around at the moment as well. Um, and eventually I'm going to try and do a review on uh, Angel Arias by Marianne Depeer, and this is the sequel to Burn Bright, and you all know I love Burn Bright, and this was the manuscript that was sent to me. And yeah, this was fantastic, so I do want to give you all a review on it, so yeah filming and I'm annoying my cat who's trying to sleep. Okay, so um, I'll see you all again soon. Tell me that you the musical.